As I came across an article in the Washington Post, yes, the Washington Post, that caught my eye because it was titled, I wish the LGBT community was more accepting of gun supporters, I should know. And so I have the writer of that article, who also happens to be the social media director for the NRA, 24 years old, and also gay. So bundle that all together and you got your op-ed. But that's why I really wanted to have you here because I think what you wrote about was so interesting. For those who didn't read the article yet, why did you write it? The main reason why I wrote it, it was kind of like a twofold uh, you know, type of deal. One, it's Pride Month. Uh, and then two, I also wanted to pose a question to the LGBT community and ask them uh, about why they're kind of hostile to the, uh, you know, to the Second Amendment and to the pro-gun movement, and then also show that the NRA is this inclusive organization. Walking in as a gay man, you thought you were going to walk into a bunch of kind of white old men, and you didn't know if you were going to be accepted. Tell my audience a little bit about that. Yeah, no, so, so so that's exactly right. So when I first took the job, I was super excited. I, I you know, I was calling all my friends and family, and I was just really excited to uh, uh, to be a part of such a great organization it has been open since 1871 right and has defended gun rights but then i got met with like some hostility and and, and stuff people were like oh how are you going to work for the nra they're racist they're homophobic it's this awful big gun lobby as we were just talking right and, and the one that I really noticed was the lgbt community really was really hostile in dc and this is what i was hearing when i was going to bars when i was talking to friends when i was talking to, to, to random people about it is that everyone had the same response of why would you work for a homophobic organization? That's so confusing to me. They just associate the gun lobby and guns with Republicans or now with Donald Trump. Is that really where the hatred is coming from? Oh, I think the hatred is just coming from, from a pure ignorance. You, you know, people not really understanding what the NRA is and, and, and what we do. And, and, and people looking at us, as I was saying, this huge gun lobby and, um, and the scary gun lobby and not five and a half million Americans, uh, you know, across the country, and, and that's when it really kind of, you know, made sense to me, as you just mentioned. Like, I started, and, and when I started, I actually started to believe these people. I started to believe all, you know, all the naysayers and the and the critics, and 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 I, and I tried convincing myself. I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to go into work, and I'm going to defend the Second Amendment in work, uh, and then I'll go home and have my own life, but, but sexuality doesn't belong in the workplace. Mm -hmm. so, so that's why I convinced myself. Did I actually believe that? No, but, but, but at the time it was making me feel better because I yeah. started believing it. And, and, and then about two weeks in to, to actually working there, it was our annual meeting, you know, 90,000 freedom fighting patriots who, who are all there to defend the Second Amendment. And that's when one of our executives did get up and he said, you know, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, rich, poor, gay, straight, you, you have a right to defend. Uh, you have a right to defend your life, mm -hmm. and the National Rifle Association is proud to represent you.